My name is Alex Curtis. I work for Public Knowledge and I'm the Director of Policy and New Media. Public Knowledge works with a number of different organizations, public interest groups and industry groups, uh, in an effort to promote the use of unused spectrum called white spaces. What, what's interesting about white spaces is that it uses a piece of spectrum, the television spectrum, which is really high quality spectrum. If you think about how TV, TVs and TV stations work, you can receive signals through buildings. Uh, and generally it's really high bandwidth. And so that makes for great connections and great device to device communications or device to network communications. We don't know what innovators are gonna come up with. There's, there's talk of using mesh technology. So devices, you know, cell phone can talk directly to one cell phone without having to connect to the, to the cellular network. Uh, computers or, you know, TVs can talk wirelessly to a computer in a different room. Uh, you know, I'm not the innovator, I, but I, what we're hoping is that innovators will step up and create new technologies, mesh technologies, or, or technologies we haven't really ever thought of using this high bandwidth uh, wireless uh, spectrum. Currently what's happening is that unfortunately uh, the broadcasters, television broadcasters uh, that are using small pieces of the spectrum would like to make sure that, that the, the available pieces of that spectrum aren't used. It's, it's, it's essentially very anti-competitive. It's unfortunate because there's a lot of communities that could be served uh, with broadband uh, using this type of technology and, and unfortunately there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt being spread uh, by, by folks like the NAB. Many Americans have broadband or access to broadband, but m most consumers don't really have the choice between multiple providers of broadband. It's getting better, but we're not there yet. Many may have the choice between cable or DSL, and increasingly we're getting the choice of wireless high broadband or high, high bandwidth broadband over wireless. Um, the thing is though, many rural communities aren't being served. They, maybe they have access to one provider, but that provider is really expensive because there's no competition in that area. I think what's great about the use of white spaces is that white spaces will pro provide essentially competition to those areas. To the average consumer, I think what white spaces presents to them is, is more choice in broadband, which should drive down costs, and then neater devices. I think we're gonna get a lot of cool devices coming out of white spaces, devices that can talk to each other, use high bandwidth anywhere they are. And I, th I think um, we're gonna see a great explosion of new and creative uses of white spaces.